Tulsa city budget is in place without a long list of amendments passed by the city council. Today, Mayor Dewey Bartlett vetoed those changes to his budget plan. So what's next? Two News reporter Jason Grubbs is live tonight at City Hall with the latest. Jason? Well, Karen, counselors have three options. They can either do nothing, vote to override that veto, or find some type of compromise with the mayor. I think that we can get to a point to where both of us agree, if we, but we need a little bit of time to do it. Tulsa Mayor Dewey Bartlett says that extra time will allow his administration to learn more about the amendments approved by the city council last Thursday. Councilor Bynum's motion passes. Councilor G.T. Bynum was calling for the police helicopters to be reactivated. Councilor Chris Trail had about $3 million worth of services he wanted restored. I believe very strongly that the city council is getting in too much of a hurry and it's making a mistake. To us, it was not a rush. To me, it was not a rush. Councilor Bynum says meetings about the budget and the amendments have been going on for months. Meetings, Councilor Bynum says, the mayor didn't really attend. He really started engaging us about 48 hours before we voted. Clearly didn't have an understanding of some of the amendments that we had been discussing and that we put forward. He challenged the council to find the funds for this, and we did. Most of the amendments came from Councilor Trail. Among them, restore firefighters' pay, highway lighting, graffiti abatement, and mowing. We'll just bring it back up for a revote and see how it goes. And an override of Mayor Bartlett's veto today will take the approval of six counselors. That issue will be taken up during next meeting, uh, the next meeting on Thursday. Reporting live from downtown Tulsa tonight, Jason Grubbs, 2 News, works for you. Thank you, Jason. Now that veto will not affect plans to rehire 88 laid-off Tulsa police officers. The department says it's called all of them, and 75 have expressed interest. Back in January, 127 police officers were laid off in Tulsa. Yeah. Since then, some have been hired back. Officer Randy Bowman is returning to the force. He turned in his paperwork today. I'm ready to come back to work where I love, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and take care of, of whatever problem I can help do. Robbie and 52 others should be back on the force by July 16th with another group of officers to follow in August.